Do you feel depressed, hopeless, and downcast? Are you in pain from maybe losing a loved one, your property, or job? Do you feel like you're all alone? Like you're slowly drifting away into the darkness and there is nowhere to turn to? The Promise of Hope with Pastor Fred Indangasi is here to give hope to the lost, troubled, depressed, and downcast in this time and generation. Thank you for joining us and welcome. Asante kwa nafasi hii njema ambayo umetupa kuweza kukusanyika katika nyumba yako asubuhi hii tunatarajia kuona uwepo wako mali hapa tunatarajia kuona miujiza yako mali hapa falme wa ajabu tunatarajia kuona ukinena nasi ukituonya ukiturekebisha na ukitujenga kwenye mwamba wako usiweza kutingizika asubuhi ya leo mfalme wa ajabu tunapokusanyika mali hapa Tunaomba uwepo wako Bwana ukajae pomoni. Tunaomba mfalme wa ajabu katutangulie katika kila jambo tutakalo lifanya mahali hapa Jehova likapate kibali machoni pako mfalme. Ninakabidhi kila mmoja aliyeingia mahali hapa mikononi mwako, mzee na kijana na mama na mtoto, yote yule aliye mahali hapa mfalme wa ajabu kwa ajili ya kuabudu. Ninaomba kibali chako Bwana kiwe juu yao. Asubuhi ya leo mfalme wa ajabu wanaposimama kwenye uwepo wako asubuhi hii wakapate kibali machoni pako mfalme ibada zao zikubalika machoni pako maumbi yao yapate kibali machoni pako sala zao bwana zikasikike mbele zako katika jina la Yesu Kristo tutangulie mfalme wa ajabu asubuhi ya leo zaidi ya yote mfalme tuunganishe pamoja kama mwili wa Kristo kwa roho wako mtakatifu na kwa upendo wa Kristo tuweke pamoja kama kiungo kimoja tukaweze kukuabudu katika roho na kweli falme wa ajabu tumekiachilia tu mbele zako tukijua ya kwamba bwana unapochukua usukani kila jambo litaenda sambamba na mpango wako mfalme siku ya leo asante kwa wale ambao wangali njiani kuelekea mahali hapa Bwana tunaombea kibali na neema ya kuharakishwa kwa nyayo zao wafike kwa wakati uliokubalika ile mfalme wa ajabu tukaweze kuunganika pamoja katika kutukuza na wale ambao umekwishafika mikononi mwako wale ambao watakuwa kitufuatilia kwenye mitandao ya kijamii pia Bwana tunawakabidhi mikononi mwako mfalme endelea kutuandaa na kutuunganisha kwa roho yako mtakatifu asubuhi ya leo tukaweze kukuabudu maana mfalme wa ajabu hilo ndilo kusudi kuu ambalo Bwana ulitumba ili tukuabudu na tukaweze kupa utukufu katika jina kuu la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na hata kuamini na mtu aseme amen. amen nataka nisikie amen nzuri kutoka kwa mtu aliye mali hapa nataka sasa ukeukie jirani yako aliye karibu na wewe mkaribishe katika nyumba ya Mungu mwambie tu karibu katika uwepo wa Bwana subu ya leo Welcome in the presence of the Lord this morning. Welcome in the house of the Lord this morning. How are you doing? With a smile, eh? Weka ka smile kidogo kwenye uso jamani. Ah, tumekwisha ingia katika nyumba ya baba. 
na kama inawezekana ukapiga hatua moja kwenda mbele usonge tu mbele hatua moja tu kama kuna kiti mbele yako itakuwa pia it is highly appreciated if you can just move one step forward we will really appreciate that we have some order in the house of the Lord this morning as we begin our service this morning karibu worship team tuongoze katika hiyo hatua ya maombezi na maabudu karibu Mabudu mwambie wa 
preparing to touch and heal our lives. We thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit already at work in us and within us. And Father God, we pray that continue working. We open our hearts 
and our minds and our spirits to hear from you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus. We may be seated in the presence of God. I am not the preacher today. But today is Healing Sunday. I don't know what came to your mind when you heard that today is Healing Sunday. Maybe you said, well, I'm not sick. But today is Healing Sunday for those who are physically Sick. It is also healing Sunday for those who are spiritually sick. Praise the Lord. Amen. Today God will heal you and he will heal me. He will heal our businesses. He will heal our marriages. He will heal every area of our lives where we are depending on him. I am a living testimony and a witness that God can heal a wounded, broken spirit and restore it all again. And so sometimes when it's healing Sunday like today I came expecting from to hear from the Lord and to be healed by him and sometimes when I go before him in prayer I don't have to say God heal me so today I just came to tell God that I love him. And I want to tell him that on this altar. And I hope you connect your spirit with mine and together we tell God that we love him. And sometimes when you just praise him and adore him, he releases miracles according to your desire and to your need. Shall we rise up? Wacha tukaweze kusimama. I want to take this opportunity to thank the man of God apostle for giving me this chance. Nataka nichukue nafasi hii kumshukuru mtumishi wa Mungu mtume Fred kwa kunipa nafasi hii. My heart is expectant and I know yours is. Moyo wangu unatarajia na najua pia wako unatarajia. That we may hear from the Lord. Ya kwamba tuweze kusikia kutoka kwa Bwana. Let us appreciate the servant of God in the house. Wacha tupige makofi mtumishi Mungu kwa makofi yaliyo mazuri. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I hope we all have our Bibles with us. That is the first thing we need to do before we hear the word. The pledge to our Bibles. So raise up your Bible. In your hand. Raise it up high above your head. Let's say, This is my Bible. This is my Bible. It's God in errant word. It is, God in it is my most earthly valuable possession. It is my mostly earthly valuable possession. I will therefore make it a lamp unto my feet. I will therefore make it a lamp unto my feet. And a light unto my path. And a light unto my path. And I will hide its word in my heart. And I will hide its word in my heart. So that I may not sin against God. So that I may not sin against God. The Bible is God talking to me personally. The Bible is God talking to me. I will therefore listen to it carefully. I will therefore listen to it carefully. And obey it fully. And obey it fully. And I will endeavor to internalize it by doing four things. And I will endeavor to internalize it by doing four things. I will know it in my head by diligent study. I will know it in my head by diligent study. I will store it in my heart by memorization and meditation. I will store it in my heart by memorization and meditation. I will show it in my life by obeying its teachings. 
I will show it in my life by obeying his teaching. I will show it in my world by my witness. I will show it in my world by my witness. Hereafter, Hereafter I will never be the same again. I will never be the same again. Never, never, never. Never, never, never. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. For his glory. For his glory. Both now and forevermore. Both now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Amen. May God bless his word. You can remain seated. I want to thank God for the opportunity that God has given us this morning to congregate here. It's a special day that God has given us to enjoy his presence. And we can only enjoy the presence of God when we understand what God is saying to us. So being here this morning is a testament of what God has done and of course what God is going to do in our midst. It's a day that we have prayed about it and committed it to God that God may move and touch us and heal us. When you talk about healing, people only think we need to be healed our bodies. But there are so many areas of life that requires or need healing. And that is why we are here to share the message and pray together. That God may take over and heal our lives. So I want to thank God for you for taking your time to come and be part of this service. And for our friends who are following us on social media platforms. May God equally bless you as we proceed. Uh, the title of my message today is very simple title that Jesus is willing. Jesus is willing. In order for you to help somebody, you must be willing to take your time and help that person. In order for you to do anything, the first thing is you must have the healing, the willing heart. So Jesus is willing. What is he willing to do? He is willing to fix our lives. He is willing to work in our situation. He is willing to turn our, our stories our history into a story. He is willing to transform our lonely life and make us people of his story. So today I want us to go spread the word of God. In the book of Matthew chapter number 8 verse number 1 through verse number 4 probably this is a passage you have uh, read at some point in your life. But the word of God is new every morning. The Bible says when Jesus came down from the mountainside large crowds followed him. A man with leprosy came and knelt before him and said to him Lord if you are willing you can make me clean. Jesus reached out his hand and tugged the man. I am willing, he said. Be clean. Immediately he was cleansed of his leprosy. Then Jesus said to him, See that you don't tell anyone. But go and show yourself the priest and offer the gift Moses commanded you as a testimony 
to them. Ila enda zako kwa kuhani ukajionyeshe na tena ukaweze kutoa sadaka ile Musa aliweza kuamrisha. Today I want to talk about these two men. Siku ya leo nataka kunenea kuhusu watu hao wawili. The man Jesus and the man who had the leprosy. Yesu pamoja na yule mtu aliyekuwa na ukoma. The Bible does not tell us the, now, the name of this man but it only talks about the condition of this man. Biblia tuelezei jina la mtu yule lakini tunasimulia kuhusu ile hali mtu aliyokuwa nayo. In order for us to get a better understanding of this man. Lakini ili tukaweze kupata kuelewa kuzuri juu ya mtu huyu. I want us to go a bit back into the history of leprosy and this man. Nataka mwanzo tukaweze kurudia nyuma tukaweze kuangalia ile historia ya ukoma na mtu huyu. And we see Jesus walking from one village to another village preaching about the kingdom of God. Na tunamwona Yesu akitembea kijija hadi kijija kihubiri kuhusu falme wa Mungu. This is the time that Jesus has come down from the mountain side. Ndio wakati ambao Yesu alikuwa tu ameshuka kutoka katika mlima. Where he talked about foolish and wise men. Ambapo alikuwa ametoa kunenea kuhusu yule mwenye hekima na yule mpumbavu. Number of issues he has taught people. Alikuwa amenenea kuhusu mambo mengi alofu and he came down from the mountain side and the bible says a large crowd of people followed him people will always go where something is when you see people going getting and coming large numbers it might be something specific that is drawing these people to where they are going so we see a large crowd of people following Jesus we see a large crowd of people following Jesus makutano ya watu wakimfuata Yesu. And these, fo- these people followed Jesus. Na watu hao ambao wanamfuata Yesu. Jesus was not a political leader. Yesu hakuwa kiongozi wa kisiasa. He was not a president, was not the president. Yesu hakuwa ni rais. He was not the king of this world. Hakuwa ni mfalme katika ulimwengu huu. So huu. in human understanding. Kwa hiyo katika kuelewa kwetu wa kiunadamu. He had nothing human leader people could go to him. Hakuwa na chochote cha kibinadamu ambacho watu wangemfuata. Jesus had something divine. Lakini Yesu alikuwa na kitu cha kiungu. Men and women to him. Ambao za kufuta watu kwake na biblia ina nakili makutano ya watu wakamwelea watu waliokuwa ni wagonjwa kutoka katika magonjwa yote na maradhi watu ambao walikuwa wamepoteza tumaini watu ambao walikuwa wamekanyagwa na kuumizwa watu ambao maisha yao kwa tumaini watu wakamwelea yesu na walipomwelea yesu na kitu kimoja tu katika kile zao wakamwelea Life will change. And the Bible says, as he went down the mountain, there was a specific man. The Bible talks about the crowd. It talks about a specific man. We don't know the name of this man. But we know the condition of this man. The Bible says, he was suffering from leprosy. Leprosy was a type of disease. Any man was suffering with leprosy. It could cut some part of the fingers of the body. Another thing about leprosy. In Israel during those days. A man who suffered from leprosy. Was regarded as unclean man. He was not allowed to sit among the people. He was not allowed to mingle with other people. He was not even allowed to go to the temple. Was not allowed even to sit to his own chair. He was not allowed to do anything with the people of, the, of his people. Because he was regarded as unclean person. So we see a man who had been excommunicated from his family. He had been cut off completely from his family. And an excommunication could take place as long as you had the condition na kule ukataona familia kungeweza kungeweza kuwa juu yako ukiwa na ile hali so this man was suffering kwa hiyo mtu huyu alikuwa akiteseka he was thrown out aliweza kurushwa nje nobody associated with him hakuna yote aliweza kujitanisha na yeye watu wangemwona jani na wakatoroka because during those days kwa sababu wakati ule if you happen to touch that man ikiwa tu utaweza kungusa mtu yule you are also regarded as unclean person pia wewe unachukuliwa kama mtu mbaya mtu unatumwa nje 
go to a place and stay there alone for seven days. And then a cleansing exercise is done. So this man was alone. If he could sit on the chair, nobody was allowed to sit on that chair. Anybody who sits on that chair was regarded as unclean. He could not use any cup. And then he used that cup to drink any water. And if, in case it happens, wherever you that goes in Canada as unclean, so people avoided men with leprosy. They avoided them by all means. They could not even want to associate with him. They could not even greet him free greetings. We see a man who is living alone. We see a man who is suffering in his heart. We see a man who has we see a man who has got no hope in life. We see a man who is sickly. And we see a man who has got no faith in the Because of his condition. But the Bible says, one day, Jesus came down from the mountain. He went down and the crowds of people were following him. And there comes a man. He stood by his the side. He could not move closer to them. Because people could begin to run away. He went to Jesus. And say, he went to Jesus. And moved closer to him. And moved closer to him. And the Bible says. He knelt before him. He knelt before him. I'm trying to understand the this man Jesus. He knelt before him. You know, if he had knelt before any other people, people could run away because he was an unclean man. But he knelt before Jesus. And he said to Jesus, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me one. Lord, if you are willing, you can make me one. Where did you how, where did this man get this courage to say these words? The message about Jesus had gone all over. How Jesus had healed men. How Jesus had resurrected people. How Jesus had driven out demons. How Jesus had fed 5,000 men. The message had gone all over. And this man heard about Jesus. He had heard about Jesus. Jesus. A man who resurrected the dead. He figured it out. He figured it out. He said, death is more cruel than my, my condition. If this man can resurrect the dead person, if he is willing, he can make me whole. If he is willing, he can heal me. So he went. And you, you know, men with leprosy, you remember the story about Elijah, the, the four men, the leprous men who, who went to the city. Even the walking styles. It was very systematic. And their legs could hit the ground like, uh, some, like a bland object. They, they didn't have the flat soul, you know. They, they had some very... Um, uh, I don't know how to say them, but they could, so they could step on the ground and they would do So people could hear that kind of sound and then they would run away. So his condition help him to send fear in the love of people that he can get a passage to Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray that your condition may cause you to move to Jesus. May condition may drive you to go where Jesus is so that you can meet in Jesus. Hallelujah. When he got in front of Jesus, he kneeled before him. He said, Lord, if you are if you are willing come on apenda if you are willing come on apenda you can make me whole leprosy has got no 
medication. Ukoma hauna dawa. I have suffered so many years. Nimeteseka miaka mingi sana. I have been excommunicated from my family. Nimeweza kufukuzwa katika familia yangu. My children yangu. and my wife has ran away from me. Wa, wa, watoto wangu na mke wangu wametoroka. My parents and my brother they don't want to see Wazazi me. Wazazi wangu ndugu zangu hatakuniona. Because of my condition. Kwa sababu ya hali ambayo niko nayo. I have nothing. Siko na chochote. They used to love me when I had money. Walikuwa wakinipenda alipokuwa na pesa. They loved me when I had good health. Walinipenda wakati nilikuwa na fenjema. They called me some good names when I had Nipenda na kuniita majina mazuri wakati nilipokuwa sawa. I am nothing to them. Lakini sasa nimekuwa bure kwao. Nimekuwa bure kwao. I have no value to them. Sina thamani yoyote kwao. Jesus. Yes. If you are willing. Kama unapenda. You can make me whole. Una uwezo kanitakasa. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. Jesus spoke to him. Yesu akamwambia. Before he spoke to him. Kabla akaweze kunena naye. He reached out his hand. Aliweza kunyosha mkono wake. And touched him. Na akamgusa. And say, na akasema, I am willing. Na mimi napenda. Jesus will break the protocols. Yesu atavunja vile vigezo. When people had completely ran away from this man. Wakati watu walikuwa wametoroka kabisa kwake. Because he was unclean. Kwa sababu alikuwa astahili. But Jesus could touch him. Lakini Yesu angeweza kumgusa. Because kumbusa. Jesus is not he is not the power and the love of God is not determined by the condition and by what people say you are. Kwa sababu nguvu unalopendwa Mungu hutokana na kile kwa watu wanasema. Yesu akanyosha mkono wake. Touch this man. Na kumgusa mtu huyo. And say to him. Na akamwambia. I am willing Ninapenda. Be healed. Ponywa. Be whole. I am willing. I want to tell the church today that Jesus is ever willing. Jesus is willing to heal you. Jesus is willing to lift you up. Jesus is willing to turn around your life. Jesus is willing to make something out of you. They might, they might, they might have completely neglected you. They have told you all manners of names. They have tried and they have run away from you. When you are doing well, you have so many friends, but because of your situation, they have all gone away. They have scattered away. They have left you alone. I want to tell you something today. Jesus is willing. Jesus is willing to turn around your condition. Jesus is willing to heal your body. Jesus is willing yes, to do something in your life. Someone say yes. Someone say yes. When people deny you, when people block you, when people watu, stop you, Jesus cannot do that. Yes, there are some people, there are some very funny people. Kuna watu wa when sana. you had money, Una, pesa, you could call them kwa pigia simu. even before the, the phone rings twice. Hata kabla ile simu hello, 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 hello. But now, Lakini sasa, you have nothing. Umebaki, una when you call, una simu, they look at your phone like this. And the moment you continue looking for them, they blacklist you. That is life. That is life. But Jesus cannot blacklist you. Jesus cannot forsake you. Jesus, your problem is not something that is over Jesus. He says, I am willing. I am willing. Even though leprosy was incurable disease. Incurable disease. But Jesus is willing. He touched him. And then his body. He was healed of his leprosy. And his skin, skin, the Bible says, was refined. The, the skin was refined. It, it was molded into a brand new skin. All the part that had been cut off from the skin. It grew up once more again. He became whole again. He was strong again. 
And Jesus told him, Don't tell anybody. But go fast. And show yourself to them. Go and tell them. Show them what God can do. You know, you know, when Jesus says, don't tell anybody. That is a technical language. Hallelujah. Amen. Because when you tell people, others not believe, they will continue to doubt. But he told him, go and show yourself. Don't talk, just let them see. Just, just let them see. Don't, don't cause problem. Uh, uh, no, keep quiet. Just let them see. Let them see how God is lifting you. Let them see how you've been healed. Let them see how God is doing something in your life. Give them time to see. Allow them to see. Don't speak on your own. Let what God's going to do. Speak. On your behalf. Hallelujah. Amen. Ombe adui yako, aishi si kunyingi, mimi unapobarikiwa, ajione kwa macho. Haina cha kabisa, afe kabla hajaona, baraka ambazo mungu, Ameweka mbele yako Ombe adui yako Aishi siku nyingi ili unapobarikiwa ajione kwa macho Haina cha kabisa Afe kabla hajaona baraka ambazo Mungu ameweka mbele <laughs> You know, when he died before you see what God has prepared for you, your testimony has got no meaning. But when you see what God has for you, your testimony now find the real meaning. So Jesus told the man with the people Don't waste your time telling people you are. Don't waste your time telling people who you are. Don't go and show yourself. Ah. Yeah, hey. 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 Vita tu mbele yao. Hallelujah. Tembea tu pole pole mbele yao. Amen. Vita mbele yao na wasalimia pole pole. Vita tu mbele yao. Hallelujah. Amen. Allow them to see what God is doing. Waruhusu waone kila macho mungu wanafanya. Hey. 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 You know what happened. <laughs> I want us to go and follow this man. Should we follow this man? Do you want us to follow him? Because after Jesus had declared, and this man was healed, this kid became like a baby. Na ile he went this way. Can we follow him? Or can we remain where Jesus was? Let's try to follow him. Now he's gone. When he get the high priest. When he get the high priest. You know, the high priest. He is abode. Makawayake is in the church. He's in the church. And the service is going on. Na ile ibada and the, of, uh, the, the offering, I mean, the, the, the worship is being uh, na, done. Na mabudu ya now the man comes. Sasa hey! Hey! He walks majestically. Anatembea kwa maringo. You know, initially before that, Unajua po mwanzo kabla hivyo, people could see him watu and run away no, come to roka. because of his condition. Kwa sababu they don't nayo. want to associate with him. They don't want to, to greet him. They have got nothing to do with him. But now yake. Jesus has done something. Sasa yesu he comes in. Anakuja. Shua. First of all, Jambo la the first thing, Jambo la kwanza, the walking style has changed. Ule wake because with the leprosy, kwa na ukoma, he was walking sideways like a trailer. Kando kando kama, kama because trailer. Na 
So the first thing the walking style has changed. He walked as the aste. The walking is very systematic. Ah. Hallelujah. Amen. People who have met with Jesus, even the walking style always changes. Even what they say changes. Even how they interact, everything completely transforms. So this man comes and is walking towards the temple. And you see most of these people who hit on others as the same people who worship together. The family has thrown him away. Family the church has thrown him away. Kanisa the former friends have thrown him away. And this man is alone. So, we follow him. Should we go first to the church? Or should we go first to the family? We first go to the church. Because that's where Jesus sent him. He don't go and show yourself to the high priest. So when he got in front of the high priest. And members were sitting. And they're like. And they're they begin to talk and they begin to seek to understand is this the same man that we know or oh, is it a different man is this the man we know that is called he's been eaten by poverty or is it a different man sura inaonekana ni yake lakini ile mungu amevaa sio mtumba huyu tunajua na wanga mtu mtumba huyu tunajua na wanga nini this is not type of his crazy dressing. He is jeans vile ambavyo anavaa. Hapana si yeye. Wanakuja naona umekuja umetangaza nywele. Unajua kuna nywele nyingine unakitengeneza hata wewe mwenyewe unajua. Kina Dar simu najua. Ukiweka nywele waje ile matuta matuta. Ukiweka nywele waje ile anganga anasema matuta matuta. Unaweka hata ukitembea mwenyewe hata kichwa unailegeza pole pole kwa sababu unataka eh hata television zion. So they see you coming. And they see the hairstyle. And they see ni yeye ma si yeye. Sema hapana huyu hawezi, huyu unajua anakuanga na matuta matuta. So they don't see matuta matuta. Kwa hiyo hawaoni matuta matuta. They see a classic wanaona style ambayo ni special classic style wanaona style ambayo ni nzuri and they begin to ask na wanaanza kuuliza what has happened je nini imefanyika let me tell you what you'll tell them wacha nikwambie kile ambacho wanaweza kuambia wanapokuuliza nini imefanyika waambie jesus is willing yes wanapenda somebody what has happened nini imefanyika oh what has happened nini imefanyika ulikuwa maskini ilifanyika nini Ulikuwa unatangua ya kupendeza what happened Jesus is willing I want to hear people say that Jesus is willing Nataka kusikia watu wakisema hivyo Jesus is willing Kalikuwa kanaishi kwa ma Jesus is willing Kwa nini lifanyika Jesus is willing Alikuwa mgonjwa mgonjwa Jesus is willing Jesus is willing. Jesus is willing. Jesus is willing. Amen. Jesus is willing. Yes, you got I want to declare today. Somebody here will be healed. Somebody, somebody here will be free. Somebody here will be elevated. Somebody here will be delivered. Demons of hell will flee away. People are going to be released. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus is willing. Yes, you got tired. Somebody. Mto. 
Jesus is willing. Jesus is willing. Hey, Jesus hey, is willing. Hey, hey. Jesus is willing. And let me tell you one thing. Na wacha nikwambie kitu kimoja. If when Jesus is willing, wakati Yesu anapenda, no struggle. Hakuna kungangana. No struggle. Hakuna kungangana. No kumwekea maji. Hakuna kumwekea maji. Hakuna kumwekea maji. Hakuna kupewa mnapewanga nini hiyo? Nyota. Sijui ni ya Daudi ama ni ya nani. Jesus is willing. Yesu anapenda. When Jesus say yes. Wakati Yesu anasema ndio. Nobody can say no. Hakuna yote anayeweza kusema. When Jesus say yes. Wakati Yesu anasema ndio. Things begin to happen. Mambo yanaanza kufanyika. Even right now as I'm speaking. Hata sasa naponena. Sickness and disease. Magonjwa na maradhi. Right in your body. Sasa katika mwili wako. It can still he feel the heat. Una inaweza kusikia moto. Because the heat is already here. Kwa sababu moto tayari uko hapa. The heat is already here. Moto tayari uko hapa. Jesus is willing. Yesu anapenda. Somebody will be healed. Mtoto aponywa. Jesus is here. Yesu anapenda. Somebody will be delivered. Mtoto afunguliwa. Jesus is willing. Yesu anapenda. Hey. hey. Chronic sicknesses. Magonjo ambayo ni sugu. And disease. Na maradhi. Today. Siku ya leo. They will dry out. Yatakwa jaribu. Jesus is willing. Yesu anapenda. Hey. 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 Nobody can stop that. Hakuna yote anaweza kuzuia hiyo. They call you names. Wanakuita majina. They call you names. Wamekuita majina. Wakasema you can you are a useless person. Wewe ni mtu bure. They ask you. Wanakuuliza. Since you got married. Tangu olewe. They have been looking at your stomach. Wamekuwa kitazama tumbo lako. You see African wanja. Ukifanya harusi wiki ya kwanza wiki ya pili anaanza kuangalia tumbo. Wiki ya pili si mnafanya nga hivyo. Hello. Hello. Wanaangalia nga tumbo. Wiki si mngoja hata miezi tatu basi. Can you wait for 3 months? Msubiri hata miezi mitatu. Hakuna. 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 As they look and say hakuna, they are writing a narrative. Wanapoangalia na kusema kwamba kuna wanaandika maelezo. They begin to write a narrative. Wanaanza kufanya maelezo. And that narrative can come out maybe 10 or 11 of them. Na hiyo maelezo yanaweza kutoka kama 10 hivi. One can say. Moja anaweza kusema. When she was still a girl. Wakati alipokuwa bado ni binti. She used to abort babies. Alikuwa akiwa via mimba. So God is tormenting her for her. Kwa hiyo Mungu anamwadhibu kwa dhambi zake. Others say. Wengine wanasema This, no, this man mtu huyu mwanaume this man huyu mwanaume he's been bound by his tra- tradition of uh, spirits ameweza kufungwa na roho za kikwao others say wengine wanasema this uh, this lady maya ilichomeka huyu binti maya yake alichomeka so they begin to, na- to write narratives wanaanza kutoa maelezo and the narrative they they they, they come up with na lemenezo ambao wanayafanya becomes they are weapon to hit on you inakuwa ni silaha ambayo wanaitumia tu yako and they begin to hit on you na wanaanza kugonga and when it continues like that na inapoendelea namna hiyo they give you a name wanakupa jina let me tell you wacha ni kwa i want to prophesy nataka nitabiri right today asiku ya leo in the name of jesus christ jina la yesu jesus is willing yes yuko tayari and today na siku ya leo jesus is going to turn yes ataenda kubalisha your story historia yako Hallelujah. Amen. He is going to turn your story. Tena story yako. Because he is willing. Kwa sababu yuko tayari. He is willing. Yuko tayari. Hallelujah. Amen. When you are sick, unapokuwa mgonjwa. They give you all names. Wanakupa majina. Wanasema kana ukimwi. Unajua wakiona mtu amekuwa mgonjwa anasema umeenda hospitalini. Huyu anaenda enda Australia na nini? Ako na ukimwi yule. Ako na ukimwi. Ukimwi. Because to them kwa sababu kwa wao going to the hospital kwenda hospitalini means you are hiv ina maana kwamba uko na ukimwi and they begin to write a narrative na tena wanaanza kutengeneza maelezo based on your situation kulingana na ile hali ambayo uko nayo to victimize you wakaweze kukufinyilia to make sure they don't move closer to you wakishia kwamba wasonge karibu nao and they throw you na tena wanakurusha this is what they did this man hii ndivyo ambavyo walifanya mtu he was not He could not mingle anywhere. Hangeweza kutangamana popote pale. He was a lone ranger. Alikuwa ni mtu wa kipekee. Not because he wanted to live that life. Si kwa sababu alipenda kushimisha yale. But because yale. people disabled would wish to, you know, interact or engage this man. Na kuna yote ambaye angependa kuweza kusema na mtu. He was alone. Alikuwa peke yake. But want to thank God. Lakini nataka kumshukuru Mungu. Jesus is willing. Yes, yuko tayari. Jesus is willing. Yes, yuko tayari. Somebody say Jesus is willing. Tuseme yes, yuko tayari. Jesus is willing. Yes, yuko tayari. Jesus is willing. Yes, yuko tayari. You're gonna be healed. Because Jesus is willing. Kwa sababu Yesu yuko tayari. 
They begin to count your years. Ukaanza ukaanza kuhesabia miaka. Huyu ana miaka ngapi? Aka kama mimi alionaona kama ile kadogo lakini aka akaona 27 28. Na akaja hawa. They begin to analyze your life. Kaanza kupambanua maisha yako. They begin to figure out your age. Anza kuangalia miaka yako. They are looking for a narrative. Wanatazama wakatuweze kutengeneza story. Kama uko 30 35 you ana nini? Aka kamekula chumvi aka. Unaona hata kana videfu ne kama kato lakini kamzee. They begin to make a narrative. Wanaanza kutengeneza maelezo. They begin to make a narrative. Wanaanza kufanya maelezo. They begin to make a narrative. Wanaanza kufanya maelezo. And when they make a narrative, wanapofanya maelezo, they begin to hit on you with it. Wanaanza kugonga. Wanasema huyu hawezi kuolewa kwa sababu yeye ana mapepo, yeye amefu and na miaka inaenda, na miaka inaenda. And they talk all manner of things. Wananena mambo inayo. Wanasema huyu unajua Kenya Power ilienda ndio maana hataki kuoa. Sasa they begin to make a narrative. Hallelujah. They, they make narratives. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hey, hey. kama nukule bara, kama nukule bara. Let me give you a story. Kule bara huko si kwetu huko bara kwingine. Wakati fulani ujao? Ujao. Na unajua hakuna mtu atakuja kufungua nguo, kutoa nguo si kweli. Wanaona huyu jamaa Kenya Power ilifanya nini? Odire, iliana. So kitu wanafanya kule bara huko kwenu. Siku na kuanga ile nyumba idisi, Simba, eh? Iko ile kanyumba ka kijana. Wewe umeenda unaenda huko nje umeenda umetembea unatembea unatembea tembea. Shangazi wanaka wanasema unajua huyu mtoto wetu ameharibika huyu. Anaharibika huyu mtoto wetu. So na tafuta kama msichana hapo kwa kwenye village. Wanaleta wakati hauko wanaleta wanaweka kwa nyumba wanaweka ugali hapo na sahani hapo wanafunga mlango wanaenda <laughs> so wewe ukija na ukinga mna kuna mtu nani <laughs> that's the determining moment the weather uko sawa au uko sawa hallelujah amen <laughs> They make a narrative on you because of your situation. Wanatoa maelezo kwa ajili ya hali unayopitia. They can do something nasty things. Wanaweza kufanya vitu ambavyo vifai. One thing that I know. Ni kitu kimoja na kitu kizuri. Yes, uko tayari. It doesn't matter how long it has lasted. Haitalishi imefaa na gani. Jesus is willing. Yes, uko tayari. Tonight is your night. Na leo ni siku yako. Jesus can do something. Yes, anaenda kufanya jambo. Si lazima shangazi akuletee kama msichana kwa nyumba ni ajue kama uko sawa kama uko sawa. Shindwe. Shindwe. Basta uh, mali. Kuna kuwa utaendelea na story. Hallelujah. Amen. When you're useless, wakati umekuwa mtu bure. Bwana kupiga, wanasema haka kamejifanya kama sikini kama kamwisho. Kamwisho because you've got nothing kwa sababu huna chochote and they begin to say na naanza kusema huyu atakufa maskini and they always want to run away from you na kila wakati wanataka kujitenga kwa because you've got nothing to offer to them kwa sababu una chochote cha kwao let me tell you one thing wacha nikwambie kitu when you're okay wakati uko sawa you have money uko na pesa you have everything uko na kila kitu people will come watu watakuja They will come. Watakuja. Friends will come. Marafiki watakuja. Wote waita wenyewe wanakuja. Zema amen. Amen. Wote waita. Because people want to go where they can get something. Kwa sababu watu wanataka kwenda pale watakaopata kitu. The man with the leprosy. Mtu mwenye ukoma. Had no friend. Hakuwa na rafiki. No neighbor. Hakuwa na jina. It's so sad even to be denied by your own family members. Inaumiza sana hata kukataliwa na watu wako. Even with your own wife. Hata mke wako. And with your own children. Na watoto wako. Ni mwanamme gani hili linakaa tu hapa lakini ana macho kubwa hakuna kinafanya. Huyo ni bibi. Haleluya. Amen. They will deny you. Watakata. They will stop you. Watakusimamisha. Because of your situation. Kwa sababu ya hali yako. But when Jesus comes in. Lakini wakati Yesu anakuja. He came out from the mountain. Alishuka kutoka kwa. And he went down the crowd was there. Na kashuka chini makutano alikuwa. He met this man. Akakutana mtu huyo. The first person to take an action. Mtu wa kwanza wa kuchukua hatua. Was not 
Jesus. Hakuwa ni Yesu. It was not Jesus. Hakuwa Yesu. This man triggered Jesus. Mtu huyu ndo aliweza kumchochea Yesu. He triggered Jesus to take an action. Aliweza kumchochea Yesu kufanya. He tamu. ran quickly. Alikimbia upesi. And did something extraordinary. Na hiki ni kitu ambacho si cha kawaida. All the other crowds were standing and looking at him. Makutano wote walisimama wakimtazama. But it is something extraordinary. Lakini alifanya kitu ambacho si kawaida. He knelt in front of him. Akapiga magoti mbele zake. And that attracted the attention of Jesus. Na hiyo ikaweza kuvutia sana Yesu. We must do something that will attract Jesus. Ni lazima tufanye kitu ambacho kitavutia Yesu. We must do something that will touch the heartbeat of God. Ni lazima tukaweza kufanya kitu ambacho kitagusa moyo wa Mungu. Because he is willing. Kwa sababu anapenda. He did not just This man could not just say if you are willing. Mtu huyu angesema tu kama uko tayari. He did not just say if you are willing. Hakusema tu kama uko tayari. He went down on his feet first. Alishuka kwa 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 magoti. Alimwabudu Mungu. He went down on his knees. Alishuka katika miguu. He poured his heart to him. Akamina moyo wake. He cried in his heart. Akalia ndani ya moyo wake. If you are willing. Na kasema kama uko tayari. You can make me whole. Ninajua unaweza ukamtakasa. Kama uko tayari. You can make me whole. Naweza kunifanya tayari. Jesus was moved. Yesu akaweza kuguswa. We are not told about the story of the other people. Hatuelezwe kuhusu story ya watu wengine. Of the crowd. Ya wale makutano. We are told about the story of that man. Lakini tunaelezwa kuhusu story ya mtu huyo. Jesus stretched his hand. Yesu akanyosha mkono wake. And he tied him. Na akamgusa. In the charge was a chaos. Na na kuna kanisani kulikuwa na kuchanganyikiwa. Those chaos. Kulikuwa na kuchanganyikiwa. Because people are wondering. Kwa sababu watu wanashangaa. What has happened? Nini imefanyika? Imekuaje? Imekuaje. But Jesus. Lakini Yesu. Is willing. Yuko tayari. After the service. Baada ya baada. We are going home now. Anaenda nyumbani sasa. We are going what? Tunaenda tunaenda nyumbani. Home. Miondoko imebadilika. Everything is changed. He's walking majestically and systematically. Anatembea kwa majivuno na kwa mpangilio. Anafika kwa nyumba yake ukule mbele. Watu wanaanza huyo mtu anakaa kama dadi. Mama anasema acheni kibele mbele. Dadi gani? Si mnajua dadi yako na ugome na ukoma hawezi kuja na dadi hawezi kuwa vizuri namna hii. Si mnajua hata hawezi tembea. Usinoe vile wewe anatembea. Sura inakaa kama yake lakini wewe si dadi. And the man continued to move. Na mtu akaendelea kusonga. Karoka anasema hapana. Huyo ni dadi huyo. Mama anasema hapana. Nyinyi dadi wenu ana ukoma na hawezi ruhusiwa hapa kwa sababu mtakoma na chisi wote so sad so sad na uzunisha kuwajwa na familia yako the very last people who could stand with you watu wale wa mwisho kabisa kusimama pamoja nao the people who could die with you watu ambao wanaweza kufa na because of the situation that you have kwa sababu ile hali ambayo uko nayo wana kutoroka The children begin continued to press wale watoto wakaendelea kusema and they were, talk, they were talking na alipokuwa akiendelea kuongea the man was moving closer to the house yule mtu alikuwa anasongea akikaribia nyumbani and the, and the wife so eh hey, kumbe ni yeye imekuaje Jesus is willing imekuaje Jesus is willing Imekuaje? Jesus is willing. Let alone the realized. Na tena wakaweza kuona ya kwamba alikuwa ni yeye. Want to tell you today. Natakuambia leo. Jesus is willing. Yesu yuko tayari. Right today here. Leo hapa. In your life Jesus is willing. Katika maisha yako Yesu. You don't need to suffer all that kind of life. Uhitaji kuteseka You don't need to live with that medication. Utakani kuishi katika madawa. You don't need to live that life that is so desperate. Uhitaji kuishi maisha hayo ambayo ni Jesus is willing. Yesu yuko tayari. We'll go before him. Taenda mbele zake. We'll go before him. Taenda mbele zake. And kneel before him. And cry to him. Even if you have been discommunicated. Hata kama umekataliwa. Jesus will come. Yesu atakuja. When he touches your life. Anapogusa maisha yako. Things will begin to form. Mambo yataanza kutengenezeka. Up. Na kutengenezeka. If there's anything that we need now. Kama kuna kitu ambacho tunahitaji sasa. Is Jesus to touch. Ni Yesu tu aguse. To touch our lives. Aguse maisha yetu. To touch your business. Aguse biashara yako. To touch your family. Aguse familia yako. To touch your money. Aguse pesa yako. To touch whatever you do. Aguse kile unachokifanya. To touch your spiritual life. Aguse maisha yako kiroho. Simple touch. Guso 
mguso tu wa rahisi. Simple touch. Mguso rahisi. And a powerful word. Na neno la nguvu. Will change everything. Itaweza kubadilisha kitu. I want us to raise up on our feet. Nataka tukaweze kusimama kwa miguu yetu. Raise up on your feet. Spirit demon right now sasa. i command you now to come out Utoke. come out Toka. 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 never again domain this life Usitese tena i declare her freedom Natangazo let her be healed and be free from every ailment binti I declare you are free. Raise up on your feet in the name of Jesus. Jesus has healed you. In Jesus' name, let her happen. I declare every curse and every trouble that has to manage this life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of You will go. Shut up your mouth in the name of Jesus. Shut up in the name of Jesus. I command the fire of God. Let the fire come. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command you to come out. 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 From this day. I declare total freedom. Uhuru kamili. Binti, you are free. Uko huru. Jesus yes. has set you free. Ame kweka huru. Give the Lord a mighty clap offering. <laughs> Let hapa. Well, bring them here. Come here. Kwambie. Enjo. Kama ulikuwa mgonjwa na umepona kuja hapa mbele. Njoo, njoo just come. Na kuja haraka. Tuambie Yesu amefanya nini. Ulikuwa na nini and what has God done for you? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Mimi huwa nasikia hapa nyuma kwa mkono kama kuna ganda. Sasa huwa nashindwa ni nini? Nimejaribu lakini sikuwa nimefaulu. Sasa najisikia tu pamekuwa pepesi. Hebu fanya hivi tuone. Hakuna uganda tena. Amen. Ah, piga magoma. Unaona pako sawa kabisa? Unaona pako sawa kabisa? Pako sawa. Amen. Piga bonesi makofi. Mwingine fanya haraka. Ni vizuri wakati Mungu amefanya kitu maisha ni mwako. We need to learn to give a testimony of what God has done because your testimony is your victory is your power. Shuda wako na nguvu yako ndo shida. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Nikija nilikuwa nasikia hapa hivi pana niuma sana na kilikuwa kinafunga lakini sasa hivi nasikia nime sisiki uchungu na kilikuwa kinafunga. Usikii uchungu kabisa kwa hiyo tumbo hebu finya finya hiyo tumbo. Hakuna hakuna kabisa. Na kifua pia imepona. Amen. Pigia Bwana Yesu magoma mazuri. God bless you. God bless you. Mwingine? Mwingine tembea tu njoo, njoo. Usiogope. Songa hapa bibi, songa hapa juu. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Mimi nikikuja asubuhi nilikuwa nasikia tumbo linatukota. Hata siku Bwana anaweza kukaa chini. Lakini sasa hivi nimefika hapa hivi na sasa sina kitu yote na nyuma. Ulisikia tu ulikuja kama tumbe na inasokota. Nikaa kitu natembea hivi ndani. Kama kitu natembea ndani. Ah. Uski chochote kabisa yani uski chochote kabisa. Hallelujah. Eh, makofi na vigelekele kwa Bwana Yesu. Asante sana mpiga Bwana Yesu makofi. Kama kuna umwisha akuja tumalize. Njoo kabisa umshuhudie Bwana Yesu Yesu aweze kukubariki na kukutenda. Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Nime, nimesumbuka kama mwezi msima njoto nasikia mwili hauna amani, mafua yananifunika ovyo ovyo. Lakini wakati mtumishi mimi nilipoonea pale kwa kiti wakati mtumishi anahubiri anasema tuseme bila alikuwa anasema wakati nilikuwa nasema nikasikia kinjoto kibarindi kimeniingia nikasikia nimefunguliwa mbariki Amen huyo alipona wakati neno linaendelea Amen Mpige Bwana Yesu makao mazuri wakati kwa anasema Yesu anafanya nini Jesus is willing can you tell your neighbor Jesus is willing Jesus is willing Amen Binti kuja hapa utuambie ulikuwa na nini wewe njo Mpatia microphone. Bonesa spiwe. Amen. Bonesa spiwe. Amen. Upendo wa Mungu na watani wako. Weka mic karibu kidogo. Amen. Nili 
Nilikuwa naumwa na kichwa na tumbo kuwaka moto na kifua kumeuma. Yaani ngoja kwanza. Kichwa, tumbo, kuwaka moto na na, kif, na kifua. Ah. Mm. Lakini sasa inashukuru Mungu nimefunguliwa kwa jina la Yesu. Umejuaje umefunguliwa? Nimejua Mungu yuko mahali hapo. Umejuaje umefunguliwa? Umejuaje umefunguliwa? Yaani sisikii tena venye nilikuwa ninasikia. Au sikii tena? Hebu yes. fanye hivi kidogo tuone na ushike ile tumbo. Hakuna kitu, hakuna maumivu. Amen. Piga Bwana Yesu makao mazuri.